Morning guys, welcome to Little Patch Kitchen here today. Um, I decided that it's about time I did a, another video for you of a recipe. Now this recipe has been inspired uh, by several um, recipes that I've had a, had a look at and um, basically I'm doing uh, my version of a slow cooked chicken and cabbage. Um, it's kind of like a stew sort of thing but yeah. So um, I'm going to show you what I'm going to be using in it today and uh, then I'm going to get it all together and put it into the slow, slow cooker. Well, mine's pressure cooker which slow cooks so I'm going to put it in there. Um, it's going to be really basic, really simple. I'm going to just basically throw it all in the pot and let it cook away for the day. So my ingredients will be um, dehydrated ca cabbage slices, sliced. I have put them into some water here already. Uh, they take a little bit longer to dehydrate than the other vegetables I'm using. So that's some sliced dehydrated uh, cab carrot. I'm going to use some dehydrated leek instead of onion. I'm going to use some dehydrated yellow squash and a small amount of dehydrated celery. And then I'm just going to use two store-bought uh, potatoes, some homemade chicken stock, uh, which I still need to defrost and then um, I think this is a kilo of chicken breast in here uh, so I'm going to put that together and then the main ingredient I want to use up is my cabbages that I've pulled out of the garden so I'm going to chop up a couple of these and throw those in there as well so it's going to be really simple I'm just going to basically throw it all into the slow cooker and uh, let it go from there and I'll check the flavors and so forth before I go to work but um, so they'll be able to serve it with rice or whatever they want if I had time I would make some homemade bread to go with it but I don't have the time uh, to do it um, they could have it with some store-bought bread if they want uh, but it'll depend on what they feel like doing with it when they get home so I'm gonna get uh, get started and get this chicken um, browned off and then start throwing everything into the slow cooker sauce thicken on here just to keep the uh, water heat everything up 
of the liquid so I can see how much I need and how much I don't need. So that's the carrot and the potato. You can see that the carrot's not quite fully rehydrated, but it's getting there. Uh, to that, I'm going to add leek. Uh, one, probably two handfuls of leek. So this is instead of onion. So you can add onion instead if you want to add instead of leek if you don't have leek. Now, I'm not a big fan of celery, but I'm going to add in maybe uh, half a hand of celery just to add a little bit of flavour. And the yellow squash, this is all dehydrated. So a little bit goes a long way. So two handfuls of the yellow squash. And that is all my dehydrated food in the pot. Now the dehydrated food, because it hasn't been rehydrated, will continue to suck up the liquid. Um, you can see there's a bit of a white liquid down there. So it's a bit like a white sauce that I'm making the bottom there. And you can see it is disappearing in a hurry. So now I'm just going to add in my homemade chicken stock. This is about one, I think this is one and a half cups on the bag there. Yep, one and a half cups. Now I forgot to add the garlic, um, so instead of using fresh garlic, I'm just going to use a bit of garlic powder. Sometimes if I forget to put the garlic in, I'll just use a bit of garlic powder. It does taste better when you saute it off. At the moment, that is what I'm adding in there. I'm also now going to add in the cabbage. Now, I may have to actually add the cabbage in in a couple of batches because there is a lot of it. Um, so I ended up doing two of those cabbage heads. Uh, but it will break down and become smaller as time goes. Just now I'm going to put this on high cook on my slow cooker so that I can get the cabbage cooked down. I've got probably three quarters of the cabbage in. I'm just going to shut that and let that cook away for a little while. So I've had it on for about an hour now. Um, it is only very slowly cooking, uh, but you should be able to get the last of the cabbage in here. Let that go and I'll check in with it um, in a couple of hours before I go to work. So it's been in here almost two hours now. Um, so I'm just going to give it another mix. Have a look at the amount of liquid. Um, whoops. Because the carrots got liquid in it, it's still got plenty in there. Um, I said carrot, I meant cabbage. Uh, so the cabbage is now cooking down nicely. It's looking really nice. I'm just going to do a quick taste test on the liquid. I think the only thing I'm going to add to that is a little bit of chicken stock. Um, and then that'll be beautiful, beautiful little gravy in the bottom. So I'm just going to let that cook for the rest of the afternoon on slow cook and, um, Hopefully I'll be able to get some photos when they serve it up for dinner for you.
All right, guys, so that is a uh, slow cooked chicken and cabbage um, with some dehydrated stuff in there as well. So I hope you enjoy this recipe. Give it a go. If you don't have dehydrated vegetables, just go straight ahead and use fresh vegetables. Um, put in what vegetables you want, leave out the vegetables that you don't want. So, all right, guys, have a great day, and we'll see you on the next vid.